National Council of Educational Research and Training presents audiobook A Pact with the Sun A supplementary reader in English for class 6 page number 15 lesson 5 tansen Synopsis of the first part of the story. Tansen was the only child of his parents. Naughty but talented, he imitated the calls of birds and animals perfectly. Once he tried to frighten a group of travelers by roaring like a tiger. And now the story. You may have heard the name of Tansen, the greatest musician our country has produced. A singer called Mukundan Misra and his wife lived in Behat near Gwalior. Tansen was their only child. It is said that he was a naughty child. Often he ran away to play in the forest. and soon learned to imitate perfectly the calls of birds and animals page number 16 a famous singer named swami haridas was once traveling through the forest with his disciples tired the group settled down to rest in a shady grove tansen saw them strangers in the forest he said to himself it will be fun to frighten them he hid behind a tree and roared like a tiger The little group of travelers scattered in fear, but Swami Haridas called them together. "Don't be afraid," he said. "Tigers are not always dangerous. Let us look for this one." Suddenly, one of his men saw a small boy hiding behind a tree. "There are no tigers here, master," he said. only this naughty boy now the synopsis for the next part of the story tansen learnt music from swami haridas for 11 years he stayed with a holy man called mohammad ghaus he married husaini one of the ladies in the court of rani mrignani now the next part of the story swami haridas did not punish him he went to tansen's father and said your son is very naughty he is also very talented i think i can make him a good singer tansen was 10 years old when he went away with swami haridas he lived with him for 11 years learning music and became a great singer at about this time his parents died mukundan misra's dying wish was that tansen should visit mohammad ghaus of gwalior mohammad ghaus was a holy man mukundan misra had long been devoted to him and often visited him while living in gwalior with mohammad ghaus tansen was often taken to the court of rani mrigneni who was a great musician herself there he met and married one of the ladies of the court her name was husaini husaini 
also became Swami Haridas's disciple. Tan Sen and Husseini had five children who were all very musical. Page number 17 Tansen had by this time become very famous Sometimes he sang before Emperor Akbar who was so impressed by him that he insisted Tansen should join his court Now the synopsis for the next part of the story. Tan Sen became a favorite in Akbar's court. Once he was asked to sing a rag Deepak. Tan Sen asked his daughter and her friend to sing rag Meg after rag Deepak to counteract the effect of the latter. Now the next part of the story Tan Sen went to Akbar's court in 1556 and soon became a great favorite of the emperor Akbar would call upon Tan Sen to sing at any time during the day or night Quite often he would just walk into Tan Sen's house to hear him practice He also gave him many presents Some of the courtiers became jealous of Tan Sen. We shall never be able to rest till Tan Sen is ruined, they declared. One of the courtiers, Shaukat Mia, had a bright idea. Let us make him sing Rag Deepak, he said. How will that help us? asked another man. If Rag Deepak is properly sung, it makes the air so hot that the singer is burned to ashes tan sen is a very good singer if he sings rag deepak he will die and we will be rid of him shaukat mia went to akbar and said we don't think tan sen is a great singer Let us test him. Tell him to sing Rag Deepak. Only the greatest singers can sing it properly. Of course, he can sing it. Tan Sen can sing anything, Akbar said. Tan Sen was afraid but could not disobey the king. Very well, my lord, he said. but give me time to prepare myself tan sen went home he had never been more downcast and unhappy i can sing the rag he told his wife but the heat it gives off will not only set the lamps alight it will also burn me to ashes page number 18 then he had an idea if someone sings rag meg at the same time and sings it properly it will bring rain perhaps our daughter saraswati and her friend rupavati could do it he said he taught the two girls to sing rag meg they practiced night and day for two weeks tansen told them You must wait till the lamps start burning and then you start singing. Now the synopsis for the next part of the story. Both ragas were sung according to plan. Akbar punished Tan Sen's enemies. Tan Sen died in 
Now the next part of the story. The legend goes that on the appointed day, the whole town assembled to hear Tansen sing Rag Deepak. When he began to sing, the air became warm. Soon people in the audience were bathed in perspiration. The leaves on the trees dried up and fell to the ground. As the music continued, birds fell dead because of the heat and the water in the rivers began to boil. People cried out in terror as flames shot up out of nowhere and lighted the lamps. Page number 19 At once, at once Saraswati and Rupati began to sing Rag Megh. The sky clouded over and rain came down. Tansen was saved. The story goes that he was very ill after this and Akbar was sorry that he had caused him so much suffering. He punished Tansen's enemies. When Tansen got well, the entire city rejoiced. Tansen remained Akbar's court singer till 1585 when he died. He composed several new ragas. Tansen's tomb is in Gwalior. It is a place of pilgrimage for musicians. Now the questions. Question number one. Why did Swami Haridas say Tansen was talented? Question number two. Why did Akbar ask Tansen to join his court? Question number three. How do we know that Akbar was fond of Tansen? Give two reasons. Question number four. What did the other courtiers feel about Tansen? Question number five. Part A. What happens if Rag Deepak is sung properly? Part B. Why did Tansen's enemies want him to sing the Rag? Question number six. Why did Tansen agree to sing Rag Deepak? Question number seven. Part A. What steps did he take to save himself? Part B. Did his plan work? And how? Are you interested in music? Do you like classical music? Name a few distinguished Indian musicians.